In my last video, I picked a board of each size from the Mini Chess Wikipedia page, but as one comment pointed out, one size was suspiciously missing. And this is a very good question. So I looked it up and found a pretty good 7x7 setup. This is called Dragonfly Chess. It has no queens, and the bishop and knight pairs are on the same side. This is because simply leaving them in the same pattern as 8x8 chess would put all the bishops on the dark squares. Pawns are only allowed to move one square, even on their first move, and castling works exactly as you would expect. The original dragonfly rules have some buckhouse mechanics, and limits your pawn promotions to pieces that your opponent has captured. But I removed these rules for today in order to make it feel more like standard chess. For today's video, promotion works exactly the same as standard chess, but since there are no queens in the starting position, we are limited to knights, bishops, and rooks. I was really surprised by how much this changed the game. Taking away just one rank and one file doesn't seem like much, but you're taking away 15 out of the 64 squares, which makes this board almost 25% smaller than a standard board. But describing it can only do so much, so I challenged my Discord mod Toggled once again so we can see how 7x7 chess actually plays. It definitely got pretty interesting. So without further ado, let's get right into the games. Okay, so we're starting off with the white pieces. I have no idea what I want to go with. Maybe like this pawn. Again, you can't move two squares. This does open me up to maybe something like this, which I should be a little bit afraid of. Okay, he moves his knight, so he could maybe do that, but I'm not sure. We could do this. That stops his knight from going anywhere. Yeah, so let's do this. It feels so weird. This board is like, it's not much smaller, but it's definitely very cramped. It's kind of crazy. We can maybe go after this knight. I kind of like that move. Okay, so now we can attack this knight. It can easily get out of the way here, but I think it gets us some initiative. And then all we have to do is move this to defend it oh i see he attacks my knight so i can do this and if he does this i go here yeah so let's just try to take he can take back so now we take and if he takes i guess i can take back so let's try this okay so he blocks now i can take and promote probably to a rook so it's check okay you can't promote to a queen because we didn't start with queens okay so i think i take now that's kind of the only move i might be in danger of some kind of check castling is legal so maybe he could get his bishops out then castle, that wouldn't quite be checkmate though. Okay, he attacks my knight. I'm not too worried. I can just move here. Uh, I can push this pawn and attack this pawn. I think I like that. He actually has the same thing. So I might have to take with king here. if I don't want to lose that pawn. Interesting, he just pushes. I'm not exactly sure what that does for him. I do get this pawn now. So let's take that. Oh, interesting. I have this. I could even force a rook trade. Actually, wow, he wins the pawn back. But I think it's still okay. He should probably do this, I'd imagine. Then I get this maybe uh but i probably shouldn't do that first let's just take and then he pr will probably take here i can just go here then i think i'm only up this bishop this check still works so let's do that just forces the exchange and so now he gets the pawn back but that's fine we can't castle anymore but we do have this oh this move maybe then takes 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 so let's try that i have to be a little bit careful he could do something like maybe this or this okay interesting so now he can't attack this maybe i just go for this check i don't see why not he can block it here, actually, which allows him to defend. Okay, he finds the move, although now this bishop is pinned, so I can probably just attack it. Okay, he castles, so I just... Oh, wow, interesting. So I'm going to lose the bishop right back, but I think it's okay, because I also get a pawn out of it. Very clever move, although I don't see how I lose this. It's definitely possible. I could even go here. Oh, wow, I actually really like this. So I take, then he's probably going to go here, and I just have this. Oh, that is actually defended by the bishop. He just moves out of the way, and I still have this move. Let's take, again, promote to a rook. He moves out of the way. We don't have this check anymore. We have this one. Let's go for this. And then he slides out this way. I think this is just checkmate. Yep, cool. Okay, so now we have the black pieces. We'll see if there's much of an advantage for white. It seems like there might be. Let's push this pawn. He goes for two knights right away. We can offer an exchange. That doesn't help us very much. I guess we can go here, getting our rook out. That could be good. It also prevents this, which might be a threat. Although there aren't any pawns to back it up. Okay, he takes. So I think we just take here. He castles already. We can maybe try going, going after this knight. It only has that one escape square after a couple moves. Although we could free up a square here. We could also eventually get this diagonal going, which would be nice. Let's start with this. Okay, so now he gets this... Uh, the bishop can't really go very far. Um, but this move wouldn't work quite as well. He does have the escape square still. And this diagonal is kind of not usable. Then after here, he can maybe take take. That would... Uh, he could even find this check maybe, then get this out of the way. So I think I just want to open up this diagonal. Let's start with this move. Uh, then probably this, especially if he gets his knight out of the way. Okay, he doesn't. Um, let's go with this. It's kind of innocuous. Then he can take, take. This pawn's nice and safe. So let's try this. Oh, he pushes again. That, yeah, that totally closes this diagonal. Uh, good move. Maybe I could go here. I don't know if it works very well. Uh, I might just close this off, actually. Let's just take, actually. No, yeah, I changed my mind. Let's take. Then probably this. Yeah, let's do that. Interesting. He pushes. Oh, wow. This is defended now. He's finding some good moves, that's for sure. Uh, we can maybe push here. That would give up this, so maybe not. We could maybe find a quick check here with this bishop. Let's try that. I don't think it's going to work very well. 
but at the very least I could get it here and then maybe free up some space for this king to castle. Then I can really go after this pawn. Okay, it looks like he's gonna try to do the same thing. It'll stop me from castling uh, in that direction, but I don't think I wanna do that. I think I'd much rather, so this is a quick check. He could block it a couple of ways or just, he's, I think the only way that doesn't lose material, uh, I guess he could do this, but it's not defended. So he's probably just gonna go here. Yep, so now uh, my knight's, it doesn't have a lot of space. But maybe this, then this. This also puts an extra defense on this pawn, not that it really needs it. Uh, this move would actually pin my knight. Okay, he finds that. I don't know if it's a huge threat. Since it's not defended, this rook move might be bad. Uh, although I could just move it out of the way, and then this would be an exchange. But it wouldn't quite be like that after I castle. I mean, it would still, you know, it would still be fine. So let's move this bishop. Interesting. He's connected his rooks as well. I think I'm just going to castle. I believe material is completely equal. It looks like it. Uh, I have this square. He could easily move his rook and then maybe his knight here to defend the pawn. Okay, he just takes. Let's take back. Takes there. Let's just go here, I think. He could come after. All right, let's just take. He's probably going to do like something like this. I think I'll just slide out of the way. I could even block, but I don't like that. Also, if he allows me to trade, I could go here. Although this pawn wouldn't quite be hanging. But I think I like this move. I can leave it at any time with this rook. And his position is very cramped. Uh, I have to be worried about maybe this move. I don't know if that works. Okay, he's taking a long think here, and I am not, which I probably should be thinking some more. So I think uh, my entire strategy kind of blows apart if he does this, but I can probably find something else to do. I could maybe target this. This pawn would be pinned, not that it really matters, but I could do something wild, like after pushes, I could double my rooks up, and then I could go here, and this couldn't take because it's pinned. Obviously, this requires him not making any moves, but then I could go here with the rook, and he can't take here because now it's pinned from this other rook. That would be wild. Okay, he makes the move I was thinking about. Um, I could probably just push, then he pushes. I'm not sure if I like that. Maybe I could go for that strategy. That'd be awesome if it worked. Although, no, he could just move out of the way. Oh, wait, he can't move out of the way. So I think maybe it just wins back material after. So here, 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 takes here. Uh, He's kind of trapped. He has to take one of these probably. And I have my doubled rooks to attack here. That's not quite checkmate. I'm feeling kind of wild. Let's, let's allow it to happen. Oh, wait. That only works if this bishop survives. Uh, I, this, I don't hate this move anyways. Okay, he's taking a long time to think again. Of course, everything's so cramped, which is... It's bizarre. The, bar, the, the board is only uh, one-eighth smaller in, in each direction. So instead of 64 squares, it's 49 squares. Let me do the math real quick. Okay, he attacks. It's less than 25% smaller. But yeah, that's quite a bit, I guess. Okay, so this pin won't work anymore. Uh, I can take, take, then maybe this is a problem. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, so I can't do the pin anymore. Let's just do this, I think. And then we're not even losing a pawn in the end, I don't think. So it's fine. Let's allow this. He might go here right away. Uh, but then this pawn hangs in the end. Okay, he takes. Um, I think I take here first. Then if takes, I take? Mm, I don't know. I might be losing here. Uh, I could take and then takes 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 i'm attacking he could go here okay i think i'm gonna go for this line okay he takes i take uh, he does get to pin me but i think i'm surviving okay so he takes oh wow i didn't really see this so maybe it's not so simple i think we can still get away with it so after this i have to go up here and he has this check and i can just take so that's not too big of a deal okay he finds the check i just go up here it's just a free bishop he attacks here interesting um I, this is still defended. He can't really go after this. Let's just attack here, maybe. We could even try to push. Although the knight defends here. Okay, so now I think if I go here, and then the here, uh, I force him. So he's going to go here, and then I can go here. And I think that forces him out of, like, all of this. He can go here. But that would let me get my rook down here. All right, I guess I lost, or I guess he lost on time. So yeah, seven by seven chest definitely gets confusing. As you can see in the end here, nowhere that he can go. I have all of this cut off. So he's going to have to go to maybe here, and I can finally get my rook back in here. A move like, like getting the rook here would have been pretty much checkmate. So in the end, I take both games, but it was a lot closer when I had the black pieces. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And leave a comment letting me know what you want to see next. And I hope to see you in the next video.